Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Sweeken Into Walkthrough. All right. So the previous video there was um, doing a bit of recruitment post uh, Green Hill Liberation. <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna basically continue on with that. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna turn in the hammers that I've got. Oh, wrong building. I think I do that on quite a few occasions, unfortunately. But, uh, alright, level 15 now. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So that was the silver hammer. Uh, I actually did did turn in the... Uh, was it the copper hammer, too, I think? Yeah, um, I won't go over too much about that. I think I did a decent enough job last, uh, last video there. But anyways, uh, we are now able to get our weapons or level up our uh, weapons to 15 uh, so basically all the characters that I use uh, quite a bit here I will I will do or I will level up to 15 their Karen's weapon finally got a huge boost there from 13 to 14 uh, I think Minami's does too yeah it's uh it's kind of interesting the way some some characters' uh, weapons, you know, jump up by quite a bit on, like, certain levels. Uh, Ulan, actually, her weapon uh, really jumps up way earlier than everybody else's. I mean, I shouldn't say everybody else's, but from the, the characters that I've been using uh, frequently. So, hers, it, it was interesting, you know, that uh, she got such a huge boost early on. And, um, obviously, it helped out quite a bit because... Um, I do like to use her, so... Uh, let's see who else here... Yeah, I guess... I used Valyria quite a bit. I don't know if I... I, I don't know if I really used her much more... Uh, for this playthrough, but... Um, basically, the characters that I've got in my party right now... End up... I think maybe short of... Short of Sierra, I think I might have bumped her out for somebody else... Uh, which you know, like, to be honest, that would that would mean that it'd be decent to to grab a, a different frontliner. Again, I think someone like Valeria probably makes sense. <coughs> We're getting to that point now where it won't be too much longer, and she'll get her second rune spot unlocked. Now, to be completely honest, uh, it's it's been a long time coming, and uh, you know, just kind of looking at the overall game and. Uh, kind of who gets what and when, um, I would say Valeria, uh, she, she just needed to get that, uh, that rune unlock a lot earlier, uh, in the game, otherwise, um, you know, I, I think she's a great character, but, uh, because, because she gets that, uh, rune unlock so late, I think it, uh, it, it really holds her back quite a bit, and, um, so, you know, I think she kind of gets outclassed by, uh, certain other people. Um, her, her real great, you know, combo is really, I think, in my opinion anyway, the combination of the, the Falcon Rune and a, and a Fury Rune. Um, but again, unfortunately, because she gets that, uh, so, so late, I think that really reduces, uh, you know, her overall effectiveness. Uh, as far as other, you know, other characters that, I mean, Anita is basically the same thing. She's almost a mirror of Valyria, so, uh, and she suffers from the same issue. Uh, let's see. Here. All right. So, anyways, we're uh, we're in the cable wind. I'm not going to talk too much about the cable wind because we've already been here before. But um, we're looking for Pesmerja, and he's at the very end of the cable wind. Uh, as far as uh, his effectiveness or not, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't. I don't think. He, or I'm not all that impressed with him. Uh, he looks really cool, but um, that's about uh, the end of my praise for him. Um, I just uh, his, the thing that holds him back the most is he literally only ever gets one rune slot, um, and that you know for a character that doesn't have any kind of unique rune or anything like that, it really again it it really holds him back too. So um, I, I'll be honest, I don't I don't know that I used him at all. Um, so so there's that. Uh, we're gonna have to. I think probably run through the uh, the Tinto mines as well in this to grab 
uh, mazes. I think that'll be that'll be after this. But um, anyways, as far as uh, you know, uh, later game characters and who who I think they're decent. Um, it's it's kind of actually a list, I guess, of of characters that I've already talked about earlier on. Where, you know, really anybody that's going to get three rune spots, uh, you know, Killy, Killy comes to mind. I think that he's he's pretty beasty. Uh, and the great thing about him is he's medium range. Hayo is, uh, uh, he's interesting because he gets three rune spots as well. Um, unfortunately, I think he gets his third one uh, pretty late though. So, I would say the... You know, that's one of the, the crummy things about him, too, is that um, while he does get, or he has, he's got fantastic potential, um, at the end of the day, it, it's, you know, reduced by how late he gets his uh, rune, rune spot unlocked. So, I would actually kind of kind of say that that's the case for a lot of the characters that are, you know, I would say a little more reliant on uh, <clears throat> multiple rune spots and... Uh, and specifically, uh, like, more physical-based characters, because I think the magical characters, or characters that are more magical-based, um, you know, they're, they're great for, uh, for, uh, boss battles, but I don't, I don't typically think that they're all that great for, uh, random encounters, but, uh, that being said, you know, if you're gonna use McDole, well, <laughs> your, uh, your random encounters are basically taken care of because... The combination of the hero and McDole is just, you know, gonna wipe almost everything out. So, um, yeah, they, they kind of take care of uh, all the random encounters. And then on top of that, you know, McDole in in boss battles because of his soul eater is amazing as well. Um, so, I mean, to be honest, if if I was gonna make a uh, any recommendations, it's I uh, use those. Well, I mean, you have to use the hero, but use McDole as well, and then fill out the rest of your party with basically anybody. Um, I mean that's that is that is really my recommendation because every everything else is uh, I mean not not necessarily irrelevant but um, uh, if you can if you can get that combo going you're you're good to go. Um, otherwise, uh, you know people like Flick Flick that's got a you know decent decent uh, physical damage as well as a decent magic stat. Uh, he's pretty decent. Here's Pesmerja. And, um, yeah, he does mention Uber by name there, and uh, I think, yeah, I'll just, <laughs> two goals to find Uber while I'm searching, blah, 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 okay. Would you like my help right away? Ow. I shouldn't have actually done that, but there you have it. He starts out at le level 60, apparently. He's got a counter rune. Um, I think actually that's the only place that you can get that counter in. I don't, I don't think that's available anywhere else. I could be could be wrong on that, but that's my that's my memory anyway. Uh, if you notice there, he's got a really insane amount of health, but uh, partly that's because he starts at level 60 now. Unfortunately, uh, all but one slot of his is uh, completely taken up, um, so. You know, you really can't do anything with him, unfortunately. Uh, short of... Uh, it's kind of interesting. All of his gear is, uh, again, except for that one uh, spot, is kind of stuck on him. But uh, you actually can take off his rune, which I find kind of amusing. Uh, I did try that, uh, you know, and I had mentioned this a couple videos ago, but I tried out the combination of, like, the counter rune and the firefly. Uh, Firefly basically makes all enemies that are possible target that specific character that has it equipped. Uh, and then I tried the Dream Robe because um, apparently 50% of the time it's just supposed to nullify attacks or physical attacks, but uh, I wasn't really impressed with that combo. It didn't, uh, frankly, it just didn't work out the way I, I envisioned it was going to. <coughs> but, uh, excuse me. Anyways, alright, so. Next stop here is the Tinto Mines, uh, and again we're gonna we're gonna get a hold of mazes. Uh, I kind of wish I would have actually cut cut this stuff out because um, I mean we've already been through here, so I don't know how how much we're gonna really get out of you know watching me run through here again. But oh well, I can that's fine. I can talk about other stuff, um, specifically characters and who I you know think are good and who isn't. 
Um, so, I mean, obviously, I, I really prefer Ulan. I think she's just amazing. She's a, a, an insane frontliner, uh, especially once you get that Fury rune on her, which she gets extremely early. So that's another thing that kind of, um, I think, really helps her case out for being useful. Um, you know, you pair up that Fury rune with her Angry Dragon rune, and then on top of that, her gear selection is pretty great. She's very... has a lot of... Um, defense uh, again mostly just from her uh, gear selection so I think she's great um, Karen I don't know I'm I'm conflicted as to whether or not I think she's all that great um, she's got some she's got some negatives obviously her rune sometimes puts her off balance uh, and then on top of that her weapon uh, has that sleep rune on it which I don't find useful at all um, so you know I, I think that um, if, if we would even been able to swap out her weapon rune for something like an exertion or something like that, uh, I think she would have been a lot more impressive. Um, Nanami, I use, uh, you know, obviously the whole game. She's fast. Uh, uh, family attack is, is pretty good. Uh, and then again, she, she, she basically just carried the spark rune the entire game for me, uh, which is great, uh, especially for... Um, you know, taking out big groups of enemies. I, I don't, I don't actually know how effective that spark rune is in boss fights actually at all. It always seemed like, um, unless, unless the enemy was just significantly faster than me or, I don't know, something was, something felt a little wonky about the boss fights in the spark rune because uh, I always thought that, um, you know, everybody should go right in a row, or like all of the characters should act after Nanami, but uh, oftentimes, you know, Nami would go, and then like the boss would go, and then the rest of my characters, so again, I don't know if it, if it's something specific to boss encounters, but I always felt, found that to be a little goofy. All right, anyways, I would say, I think, uh, maybe just kind of to summarize that, uh, I think having a good a good mix of characters that are able to, you know, hack through um, big groups of enemies without taking too much damage is important. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can always heal yourself afterwards, but um, uh, I always find that to be a little annoying. Granted, this game is a little bit easier where, um, you know, you do have a a big pool of of inventory that you can take from and uh, again if you've you know kind of been hacking through enemies on the way to a boss you can always you know pull some potions out of the bag and heal yourself up um, that's you know typically not how I like to do things I like to try to avoid uh, reliance on enemies or on enemies on um, on items if I can and then on top of that um, you know avoiding Avoiding using a whole lot of spells on the way as well. Uh, most of the time, to be completely honest, it doesn't really matter. Most of the dungeons in this game are, you know, pretty short, so um, that uh, that really isn't going to come into play that much. Uh, maybe it's a little ironic that I'm saying that in the uh, one of the dungeons that's one of the longest in the entire game. But uh, all right, so we're almost here. Um, Zeus is. Uh, I think we have to go to the, yeah, I think we have to jump down here first. Yeah, here we go. Um, so this guy is, uh, <laughs> please join us. Please, uh, he's actually really good. He's got a, um, I think he's got a Mother Earth rune attached, and uh, we'll see here. I think there's one more. It might be the, the upgraded fire rune is going to be my guess, which would be, what, the rage? Adrian, I think. We'll see here. Let's get some practice. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we just went went to the to the castle. So, um, yeah, we'll just use this escape castle. So glad I brought one of those with. All right. So we'll see here. I might go back to the castle and just check him out. We'll see. But um, he's one of the top tier casters. If not, actually, he might be the best. Um, and I think he's got, he's got a couple of runes, I'm not sure exactly 
Uh, again, I, I could have sworn he's got a, a Mother Earth, and then I don't know what his other one was, but he does get, I think he gets a third third spot, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be wrong on that, though, too. We'll see if I can, if I can find him here. There we are. Oh, Blue Gate, Thunder, and Fire. Oh, wow, I was way off. Yeah, he doesn't have a Mother Earth at all. Um, so we'll see. I, I actually don't think I used him either. So, um, oh, and he's got a robe of mist permanently equipped. I always find that to be a little annoying. Um, I guess there's worse things to be, you know, equipped with. But um, yeah, I don't know. Apparently, that that uh, can randomly resist magic. <laughs> I feel like I'm just about to kick him right back out anyway. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure that's what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, let's see here. As far as other characters, um, boy, I think, you know, most of them I've already, I've already really gone over. I think my, especially my top choices. But yeah, well, Sierra's getting, getting put back in. Okay. Uh, again, though, I, I really, I really think I should have uh, put a different rune on her. The, um, the darkness rune is okay, but um, it just doesn't pack the punch that I, that I prefer. You know, from, from maroons. Um, let's see. I'm just checking what I can take off of. Uh, Mezus, Mezus. We'll see here. Um, there he is. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm not gonna. Oh, huh. yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. So that, that. Oh. Yeah, the Thunder Rune is stuck on him. Actually, that's okay though. Um, I mean. It would have been nice to be able to, to grab that and put it on somebody else, but um, and then the blue gate is is permanently attached to his forehead as well, which I don't know. I'm I'm not that wild about. Um, I just uh, I don't really like that rune to be completely honest. Uh, and then I mean, but to be fair though, uh, to make Mazus better, I think I would just uh, take that that fire rune off of him and put a. Uh, wizard wizard rune just to uh, you know have him deal a bit more damage. Um, same deal with Sierra though. Like I said, I should have I should have taken that darkness rune off and put like a thunder rune on her, and then maybe um, maybe a wizard rune. That probably would have been a little bit better. But uh, okay, so. Um, I think at this point I've got everybody. We'll see. We'll see here, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure those two were the last, the last of my recruits, um, and that's important if you want to get the best ending. Yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay, so good to go. Uh, so we've got all all 108. So at this point, um, we'll continue on. Um, basically, you want to have all 108 stars before um, an event, and I don't remember that's coming up next or not um, we'll see oh, okay let's go to Muse. next stop muse okay uh, if that is your base it should be easy to blah 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 whatever uh, <laughs> every lie contains truth, and every truth contains a lie. But I, I don't. That seems like it should be wisdom, but it just sounds like nonsense in reality. But uh, <laughs> all right, the troops are marching out again. Okay.
please, Lady Teresa, use this. Use what? Presents? <laughs> okay, I think this is the dorm, isn't it? Okay. All right, Nanami wants to walk around a bit. Let's do that. That sounds lovely. Oh, all right. That was actually really weird. So I had all my characters set up like that, and then Nanami kind of like left, sort of, but then rejoined right away. Can't be, it's her. Oh, Lucia. Okay, let's take her down. <laughs> this is a little reminiscent of the, the chase with um, Shin. Okay. Pick the state of protect you. <clears throat> protect him from who, little old me? Okay, quit as leader of the dragon army and run away. So haven't we already had this discussion before? I don't know, am I crazy? Or did we already have this talk? Just as I can't turn back, you can't time either. Or turn back, back, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> there must be something I'm missing here because... I mean, I, I think that the hero has more of a argument to be made for him not being able to turn back. I mean, we've run around and recruited you know a ton of different people we've liberated all kinds of different places <laughs> whereas what's Joey done uh, killed off Luca killed <laughs> helped to kill off the king um, what else <laughs> you know I don't know it just feels like now absolutely you could quit and join us and then we could crush Highland or do whatever we wanted you know talk peace that's the other really weird thing like really these two Joey and the hero couldn't broker some sort of peace agreement I mean with the history they've got I don't know super weird but whatever I guess the the reality is, like, I don't know, it seems like Joey says, oh, you know, we've come too far, basically, but, I mean, Luca's the one that started this whole deal, so, I, again, I don't really understand why they wouldn't just be like, oh, yeah, he's dead, boom, we've accomplished, and that was Joey's original goal to begin with, so, I mean, the fact that he's gone now just feels like, well, okay, let's end this, but, what do I know? <laughs> Okay, um, so this is the attack on Muse. Strange that we haven't met any enemy resistance yet. That is, that is weird. Shall cleanse ourselves of the stain of defeat. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious... And maybe I just missed something here, but I, I don't really know why the uh, Karaya tribe is still insistent on, you know, helping out Joey. Uh, here, if you notice, there, Max is all by himself, which means that I didn't do a good job of setting up my troops. I don't know that it's actually going to matter, but, um, yeah, he's, he's all by his lonesome, poor feller. Um... And then George Prime, or Jorg Prime, whatever, is uh, with Pesmergia there, I think. 
I think both of those guys have the cavalry ability, so again, it just looks like I didn't do a very good job of setting up my troops here. Um, Victor Klaus. I'm going to move him back, because, I don't know. Attack 6, defense 7, he's not really going to do much. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Hauser doesn't have... What's he? He's just got low end with him. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I, I just didn't do a good job of setting my troops up beforehand. <clears throat> yeah, and Mazus is alone with... Chaco, so <clears throat> pretty not great. Uh, this should be pretty easy, though. I, I vaguely remember the Highland troops pulling out early, but we'll see. So here are the it's a little unfortunate too that um, a bunch or a couple of the characters that you know are able to use magic. I would have rather had them with the cavalry ability just to move them up, you know, into range sooner. Uh, reason being, I, I I really do feel like um, you know range is range is just kind of the way to go in this game. If you can, you know, if you can just kind of. Sling arrows or magic from a distance. Well, why not? All right. Chopping these guys down. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't uh, move. Well, who was that? Was it Victor's true? I can never, I can never remember who's got the fire spears now. But I could have moved them into range and used the fire spell on this. Both of those characters actually. So I'm not really sure why I didn't do that. But that's okay. We'll be all right. Well, there we go. Oh, no damage. No damage this time. Oh, uh, and it looks like I saved my saved my magic spell there from the hero. Um, I've got, I know I've got a, what is it, Jean's got lightning. Um, so I'm not sure why I didn't use that, but that's oh, okay. Luck busts out the wind. Boom! Wipes him out. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. <coughs> Gilbert, that's who's got the fire spear. Oh, okay, I guess this is gonna work out okay. Just gonna, gonna take over that spot and fire spear. Alright, nice. Took out one more. Preparations are complete. We can withdraw. Um. So they're up to up to something. So here, yeah, I don't know. It looks looks like uh, Joey is willing to sacrifice Lucia. And I mean, was it was it Colgan even said? Well, you know, she understands. She understands that. But I mean, the reality is, <laughs> Joey goes along with it still. Oh, ouch! know what her stats are, but she's bringing the pain. So here I could have... Oh, I did. that's why I did that. All right, so I did actually get both of those units. I was going to say I could have moved up, you know, one square and then used the fire spear, but um, it looks like I just wanted to... Well, that's the end of that. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, so that's the victory. 
Uh, another, you know, like I said, another kind of lame battle, unfortunately. Just wanted to do, like, a big old battle royale and, like, last man standing, but... Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Alright, so something seems odd. Um, okay. Future Convoy John's party. Uh, let's put him in the convoy. Because I am already happy with my group. <coughs> what am I doing here? <coughs> That looks good. Alright, so here we are, back in Muse. Once again. Um, I think the streets are all still empty, and there's nothing to do here. Other than... Yeah, we have to go to the... I, don't, I actually don't know what this building is called. can't leave this sort of thing alone. Alright, so we gotta figure out what's going on in here. A monster. Well, monsters are our specialty. Golden Wolf. Okay. Um. Golden Wolf is pretty easy to take out. Um, I think you can actually fight a few of these uh, in town, but uh, after I fight this one, I think I just bailed. I just don't. I don't think that there's any real reason to, to fight any more of them. They don't drop anything that I remember. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Sierra has there, but whatever it was, it triggered. Ooh. I don't know if that was the Dream Robe, because, I mean, Dream Robe is supposed to only block physical attacks, at least that's my, my impression, and I don't remember what else she has equipped that would have blocked whatever that was. I assume it's a magic spell, because, again, typically... Typically, they're, like, the gear in this game is able to block, you know, magical-based abilities like that. Yeah. All right. <coughs> okay, so we've got golden wolves all over the place. <coughs> Let's run. I mean, I don't know. That thing wasn't that difficult to take out. We probably could have just, you know, chopped him down. But, but let's not. <laughs> All right. That family are servants of the beast rune. Heard that it was passed down from Cicero to the Blight clan. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, it looks like the dude from Harmonia that Luck said that he was going to quote-unquote take care of uh, passed on the Beast Rune to the Blight family. Apple noticing that uh, something's up. I think she does a, a good job, if I'm remembering correctly, but um, I'm out of time anyway, so... Um, yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to call it a day. Uh, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.